Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all having a really great day. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Jordan 1 lost and found in 20 different outfits. This has been a really highly requested video, so if you do appreciate it, please communicate that to me by liking today's video and subscribing to my channel with notifications on. The Jordan 1 Lost and Found has easily become one of the most hyped and talked about sneakers of the past year, mainly as of late due to the fact that there are going to be tons and tons of pairs available. This is great news for those who plan on wearing these shoes, hoping it's a lot of you. Here I do have them styled with a pair of minimal V denim, which is part of their vintage line, and the top is a cause sweater short sleeve shirt. Uh, which is really nice quality next up this one is another pair of v denim this pair does have paint and distressing throughout and then i did go ahead and style that with a cropped utility jacket now just a heads up i did see the comments in the last styling video featuring the yellow toes and yes this video does feature skinnier jeans and here they are uh, these are a pair of amber crombie slim denim um, i did go ahead and decide to style that with proportions that fit accordingly and here is a vintage bulls tee that is oversized with a cropped boxy yeezy season six utility jacket this one is made of very heavy canvas and retailed at a thousand bucks I didn't pay close to that much because if you saw the vlog, I did pick it up for 300 at Saks off fifth. Moving on, I did switch out that jacket for a Sherpa jacket. This one is from Minimal. I really love how this one fits and it does have those contrasting panels of nylon, which really lets it stand out. I really love Sherpa because it is super cozy. Speaking of cozy, this Richie Lee puffer is every bit of cozy switching things up from the slim denim i did go ahead and throw on a pair of flare denim and this pair is from minimal and for everything that is available i will have it linked below for your viewing pleasure taking off the jacket here is how this would all look without a jacket and just you know on a ca more casual day that isn't on the cooler side if that makes sense oversized tee backwards hat flare denim and a pair of Jordan 1s. I feel like this is like the uniform right now. So we're gonna go ahead and switch things up from that pair to a pair of baggy-er-ish uh, Richie Lee sweats. These sweats are so awesome and made of wool. I really love what the guys did with how this pair fits. Up top is a Pearl Jam Choices vintage tee and that is the next fit. Just very comfortable overall. Now, I did go ahead and throw on a pair of utility cargos. These are from Minimal and I love these pants. The top is the vintage painter hoodie. It was treated with a vintage wash as were the pants. And I did go ahead and wear a Stussy hat up top. But yeah, I love these pants are so comfortable and they are extremely roomy and baggy for optimal mobility. By the way, if you want more content on the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds, be sure to hit the playlist down below because there I'm going to have everything related to me purchasing them, to styling them at the mall, and a full review, of course, and comparing them to a pair of the best replicas on the market. So uh, be sure to check that out. Anyways, moving on, I did go back to a skinnier pair of pants because I know that's what you guys wanted to see. Uh, these are actually the Fear of God five year wash. These are awesome. They look so nice in person. And honestly, Fear of God second to none when it comes to the details, the whiskering, and of course, like the immense level of attention to detail when it comes to uh, the quality of their fabric and wash. Now, if you're wondering, I did not get these altered in any way. They came uh, cut off like that. But yeah, just overall, very, very nice in relation to the quality. Moving on, I did have to keep it classy to some extent and throw on the Canadian tuxedo. Uh, the denim jacket is also from the five year wash in the seventh collection. Truly, I'm never gonna get rid of this set. I love how it all styles together. Fits so, so nicely. 
and yet again fear of god just smashing it out of the ballpark with regard to the attention to detail probably my only apprehensive purchase from seventh collection is this one here i've literally never worn it just because i don't know if i like it or not that's not to say that i definitively don't it's just the arms or the sleeves on this piece are so long that i don't know i just don't know how i feel about it it's really nice quality though I did take that shirt off and put on a vintage faded 7th collection shirt and with that keeping that vintage theme I threw on this western 60s real calf suede jacket. This piece in person goes absolutely insane. The weight of it, it's just they don't make stuff like this anymore and as a product of that it's just aged beautifully. I did go ahead and switch things up. The jeans are the D212 denim from Minimal, probably the most versatile pair of pants that I own. I wear them all the time, as you guys may already know. And the jacket is a varsity teddy jacket that is leather. I feel like this is a type of outfit that you could wear on like a casual date, but switching that jacket out just for a moment, this is a fifth collection Fear of God bomber. This one fits very unique. So now we've seen all kinds of fits of denim. Let's switch it up and show a slimmer pair of cargos. These are what's known as the Snap Zipper 2 cargos from Minimal. And I love these because it's able to change or diversify the texture of your outfit. The top is a vintage Tupac tee on a Bay Club 2XL blank. Yes, it is 100% authentic vintage, not a reprint. There's just something missing with this fit. So I did go ahead and grab this cardigan that I just purchased over at Cause. This is made of wool. The quality is just awesome. If you guys have yet to check Cause out, highly recommend that shop. It is owned by H&M, but it's their higher and higher tier store. So as a product of that, you get new trends, but better quality. Here, I did go ahead and switch things up completely and throw on the You Must Be Born Again hoodie by Cactus Plant Flea Market. Honestly, I've had this hoodie for like three years and I still love it. It's a regular go-to for me. Now, it's probably because of the text out front as having been born again has absolutely been the catalyst for not only defining my life, but for saving it all together so big shout out to my lord my king my savior jesus now switching things up showing new proportions we've got not an oversized vintage tee but a fitted vintage tee i've been buying a lot of these lately just because i have been wearing a lot more baggy bottoms and i just like to wear these proportions together baggy on the bottom and slimmer on top here, I did go ahead and throw on an Ame Leandor t-shirt and over that is a workwear jacket from Carhartt. As you can see, this thing's just aged gloriously. Now, if you're wondering or you don't own a Carhartt jacket just yet, this one is a medium and there is enough room to go ahead and wear a hoodie underneath. I am approximately 5'7", weigh 160. Here, we did go ahead and swap that out for a represent hooded flannel and now, I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't wear this flannel, but for the sake and purposes of just showing different styles and aesthetics for these videos, I did want to feature this style of outfit. By the way, if you're new to the channel and are confused that I keep referencing different videos, it's because I actually have done uh, this multi-outfit style of video for various sneakers, which include New Balances, Jordans, uh, different Adidas, and so that's why I keep doing that. Moving on, here is a thermal that is from Minimal. This one is vintage washed and features distressing throughout. This light blue washer denim is a pair of 501s. They are an orange tab. And I did go ahead and throw on a pair of 505s to kind of show you how differently they fit. So you can see this one's a little bit more narrow. They are also orange tabs. And the top here is a distressed minimal hoodie. And now for this last outfit, I did want to say thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Please be sure to subscribe if you did enjoy today's video and like today's video because that just helps. Thank you. Bye.